Hi Aquarius. Thank you. Thank you for being here and welcome back. I'm Nan and this is Silky Intuitive. We want to take a look at your career path and your financial path. And after this video, uh, you can go over to uh, my Vimeo channel to watch a video that I've produced or that I will be producing at the end of this. Uh, for the cost of uh, 99 cents, you can take a look at a reading that talks about love and money. And then we look at your life purpose draw. Now, uh, first of all, uh, I want to say thank you, guys. Uh, I am recording this after uh, just passing my 6,000th subscriber. So I want to say thank you, guys. Uh, it's because of you, uh, my uh, Aquarian friends, my Gemini friends, my Capricorn and my Cancer friends, everyone that watches me regularly. I do thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And I will come up with something to do for the 7,000th subscriber. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't decide what a, I was going to do something for 6,000. Now I'm thinking, oh, I got to do something for seven. I don't like six. Six is kind of a karmic number. I want to wait till seven. Seven is a divine number. So we're going to wait until seven and do something really special. But until then, let's look at your finances. Oh, and by the way, uh, Weebly website link is down below if you want a private reading. Okay, now, here we go. We want to talk about, first, I pulled a focus word for this period of time. And I can see by this reading, oh my God, Aquarius, what are you going through? <laughs> Sun, moon, arising. And if this doesn't re uh, resonate with you, please, Watch your sun, moon, rising sign. They may be clearer than this for you. This is a definite story about someone going through something incredibly rough and a need for understanding. Okay. We'll keep this energy in mind while we do the reading. First, let's talk about your career path. The King of Wands, the Devil, the High Priestess, the Hierophant, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Chariot, the Three of Swords, and the Death card. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. <clears throat> I'm just going to talk about the energies as I see them. Uh, we'll start right there with the King of Wands. He's someone with passion, someone with desire. And he's got his back turned to this devil situation. So that can be a fire sign uh, person in your life who um, maybe has turned their back on a situation. It's connected to the devil. Now, before anything I want to say, this could be a Capricorn. This could be a Capricorn individual and a fire sign, and they have, he has his hand up, like this, to the King of Wands, and the King of Wands has his back to him. If this is a Capricorn you're dealing with, this could be a situation where you're turning away from one another, purely by instinct. It's almost as if these two people don't see eye to eye on anything. A business partner. It can be a career path that you're just not seeing how it can work for you anymore. The high priestess is saying that that situation, if it is a situation and not a Capricorn, and even if it is a Capricorn, these two figures have... One has a hand up saying stop. The other one 
has his back turned to him. So there's still resistance here, whether it's a Capricorn or not. It's negative energy because they have resistance to one another. Now we have intuition, instinct, using that divine sense of intuition to guide you through a situation that apparently has bad energy built up into it. The Hierophant says this is a contractual issue for something. It can be a partnership. It can be something that is written on paper, like a marriage, but it's in your career path. Maybe you chose a new career path after splitting from someone who was getting in your way. Getting in your way of being who it is that you really are. Getting in your way of finding your true direction in this life. That contract. Now next to that contract with the Hierophant, that obligated contractual sealed agreement comes next to the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords, he brings resistance. He brings hostility. And he can bring the end. He sits next to this Queen of Cups. I think that someone in the situation could be this King of Wands. It could be this, this Capricorn too. One of these two characters brought a negative circumstance into a partnership where it caused heartbreak, sorrow, maybe loss. This is again on your career path. But as we know, if we are emotionally going through heartache, it's going to affect everything that we do. But this swords, this knight of swords guy, in his hostility, he cuts things out of his life. The Queen of Cups is right next to him. This tells me that this was big changes, possibly, and even probably, in a love situation. It brings an end to something. This brings the loss, but this brings the end, and it brings the transformation. The chariot, on the other hand, brings the moving away from the situation. I'd like to kind of move these two things, but they basically say transformation, moving out of one situation so that another one can be pursued. We've got, though, a need for understanding. During a period where someone is separating from this negative influence, this negative energy, this resistance, whatever it is. Whatever it is brought heartache, disappointment to someone's career path, to someone's walk in life. There's a moving away from the situation, though. A moving away from that energy for sure. Using the tools, the natural tool, tools that are possessed by some Aquarians through their intuition. And what we have at the very end is transformation. This on your career path. So maybe, just maybe, say this is a marriage and your partner got in your way every step of the way while you tried to develop the right path in life for you. Maybe they cheated on you on your road together. And what you decided to do was finally put an end to that and walk a new path. And along that new path comes a new career. Maybe you decide to do away with all old ways of life and move forward in a more positive way. Now, let's move on to your uh, finances, your money. We have the King of Spades, the Seven of Diamonds, the Jack of Spades, the Eight of Spades, the Five of Clubs, the Nine of Spades. We've got a lot of spades here, guys. The Four of 
diamonds, the jack of clubs, and the four of clubs. We have a lot of black in this part of the reading, which means there's a lot of mental energy going into this period of time for Aquarius. Let's first look at, though, the Eight of Spades. The Eight of Spades talks about, an, a, lost, about a lost association, and I think that's clear here on the career path. This career path has led to the lost association of a friend, maybe a partner in life, a marital partner, a business partner, but there was a loss of someone, leaving someone behind maybe to move on to better things. Now the Jack of Spades talks about justice. He's the justice card. He brings swift justice. He's the same card as the Knight of Swords in the center of your career path. So he brings justice. He brings new opportunities. He brings a new path in life. Okay, the five of clubs talks about a brilliant new idea, figuring things out, focusing on the little details, learning new ways of doing things. It also talks about being a thinking card. So a lot of plans going into, maybe going down on paper, and some of them maybe even going into action during the month of October. But there is a need with the Seven of Diamonds to show more confidence. But for you, it's showing more confidence in your finances. You have to be more confident that the road that you're walking is going to be a profitable one. There needs to be more belief because you're making profit uh, or you're making progress. But at a slower pace. Um, it's, with all of these clubs, the clubs are kind of like the pentacles in a way. They're very grounded in earth energy, so it can be slower in developing. But with the jack of clubs here also, he brings the need to make specific plans. Plans that are designed respectfully and strictly for your needs. Paying honor to what it is that you need out of the situation. Not out of what your partner needs or what out of your ex-partner needs. Not out of the things that your family needs. This is about making a plan that is about what Aquarius needs out of a situation. But this is saying don't be impatient. Again, it feels like a slower moving energy. Also, it says double check those plans as you go because there may be some things that you get kind of tripped up on that need special attention that can be avoided if you double check before you put the plan into motion. The Nine of Spades is about being open to new challenges, letting go of old ideas and opening up to what is new. And with the King, with the King of Spades leading us off here, he talks about having been through a lot, having faced the battle, the challenges, the heartbreak, the separation, the indignities possibly that was shown to them and through understanding can now face the things that he's gone through, move forward positively, yes, but with mastery. And again, 
justice will be served after a struggle for my Aquarians. So this talks about fighting the battle and winning the war. Again, understanding for someone in the situation is going to be important. All right. I think that's about all I've got for you. Again, I'm going to go ahead and do this reading at my Vimeo channel for 99 cents. You'll be able to view it there. I also have other readings there. Uh, they are life concern videos. Their focus is on energy, the energy of a situation. Those are things you may want to take a look at. Go ahead over to my Vimeo channel and watch those if you like. Um, and I'm going to do a life purpose throw there also. Um, if you want a reading meant just for you, go to my Weebly website. Pick a reading on the readings and prices page. And then uh, tell me what it is that you want on the contact form and send it to me. That'll get the door open. It'll get the ball rolling on that process. And until the next time, Aquarius, I'll see you on Vimeo. May, uh, uh, maybe. Uh, thank you. And until the next time, take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. And peace.